Yeah. Yeah, because like you both kind of get infinite value going. You both have like your big plays in the beginning, right? So if uh-huh. if you live through their tog and they don't do something some crazy like zero mana gala from tog or something, then um, the late turns you guys both do nothing and priest does nothing better. So basically, like what, what their late game stuff is trying to do is like lackey and discovered stuff that's really strong against control decks. And you're saying you can just actually just out pressure them with your like mid rangey yeah nonsense. Just mid rangey nonsense all the way. Hmm. Maybe I should have brought that to GM. I didn't think Priest beat Rogue at all. I'm actually, yeah. yeah, whatever. But then <sighs> Mage beats Priest if you make the Mage a little bit kind of uh, great. I'm not surprised right about Mage beating Priest. I played that matchup a little bit in GM, and it felt like once I understood what I was doing, I was pretty okay with it. Yeah, the Nuts is the. Uh, you want to slam all your threats as quickly as possible so Priest has less time to generate value. And you want to actually run card draw. More card draw helps, so you get more threats going. So off like Malagos, you want to discover three mana draw four so that you can keep the pressure going and have all of your Highlander things. And you never want a Zephyrus for wild growth. You want it for Savage or Bloodlust stuff. It's just like, if you so just you do that as a mage... Zephyrus off the Mulligan? You don't yeah, it. you'd Mulligan Zephyrs against... Um, you throw it away off the Mulligan. Priest as Highlander Mage. Because you need to have the... You want every board you make to them have to overreact to. And the way you do that is by being always able to threaten Bloodlust. If you can threaten Bloodlust every or time Alex. again, they have to... Yeah, they have to clear every single board. So you need these cards later. So, like, Wild Growthing versus them is... gig trash. I feel like you won this game, but maybe a Grand Slam disagrees with me. But this looks like a really horrible spot to be a hunter. Four... Tuitus, just subscribed for three months. Welcome back to the back cave, Team Thing Man. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you here. And Low Tech Mav, welcome back for 16 months, dude. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you back. Can we do that Deck Doctor tonight? Oh, shit. He has all of the points saved up to run Deck Doctor. So would you yeah. be down to Deck Doctor, Zelay? Of course I'm down. Oh, baby. Might cash in the what is it? Is it like a million channel points or a hundred thousand? It's something absurd. Wait, you're not going to convincing infiltrator here? What goes wrong if you do? I'm not sure. I mean, Zephyrus would be bad, but like that's unlikely because he didn't Zephyrus on two, right? Oh, yeah, it's not that unlikely. It's Seems not that good. bad either. I don't know what Zephyrus does that's that good against this. It's like the weapon is the only annoying part, I think. Okay, it just like trades and weapons. Either weapon is pretty good here. Yeah, I'm pretty okay with that. Like if he's trading Huffer, it's fine, right? Yeah, I'm pretty okay. Would you like me to send the deck code? Yeah, that is a good question. We don't really have a system for this. I'll just whisper you on uh, Twitch chat. I think that'd be easy. MMO Montague, just subscribed for three months. Welcome back to the Becky of Team Thing Man. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you here, dude. Montague, is that um, is that the name in that book that's about revenge that I read thirty years ago? A Montague book on revenge. Dude, there's really famous revenge book. Ah, oh, he did the thing you didn't want him to do. That's kind of a bummer. Oh, that is a bummer. Yes. Okay. Nice. It says Nailed it says the deck code was blocked in Twitch chat. Mont Pierre. Oh, they're saying Romeo oh, yeah, and Julian. Okay. Okay. Way off. Wait. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. How do it's I like get the a news? Looks good. How do we spend four mana? Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably. For that ooze. That was pretty good. How do I get this deck code from this guy? He messages it to you. He said the message blocked it. Oh, wait, wait. it's probably because it's too long. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that that has to be it. All right, let's see here. I don't want to see him. I don't want to save that, I think, to be reactive. Nah, screw it. Yeah, let's you, just probably probably want, you probably want... Wait, wait, what? what, 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 what? Right-click. Can you right-click out of this? I yeah. really wanted these other things to have seven health. They were like very large at seven health. Nah, Wind Fury. He's dead, man. I was thinking that too, and then I changed my mind and wanted this. All right, all right. I feel like this puts way more pressure because instead of a uh, five attack, we're loading twelve. Yeah, but you could do that next turn, and this turn you take advantage of the Ahmed being healthy. Next I guess you're saying he spends his whole turn on the CMAT and then next turn you do the other things? Yeah. There's also the question of how does he answer the CMAT, right? That's what I'm ignoring that you're focusing on. It's like he actually doesn't. And so, He's yeah, it's like good. physically impossible for him to kill the CMAT, right? He's just a top deck Zephyrus away. That's an upgrade. Probably. 
Huh? Well, we're definitely racing that dragon, whatever. Oh, I want to mind flare it too. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, now how do we kill off our 3 7 before we hero power? <laughs> <laughs> too greedy. It's gonna Play be this 2 7 before I get confused. I think I thought Sting off. Yeah? Oh, yeah, you could hit some minions to play. But I think we could have thought stolen last. It was cooler. So I could either go for the clear play or I could just play big things. I think I just play this and go face with everything. Yeah, that guy's pretty good with 7 health. Yeah. <sighs> Poor Hunter. Classic control priest. Control in the face. <laughs> Dude, how does Felma go face so often? He's so good at that. Speaking of good things, Algebraic Architect, thank you for summing. Nice. And we have the deck code. So after this, we'll be working on uh, we'll be working on Low Tech Mav's deck. It's Excellent. long. It's a long deck code. This is a Highlander deck. Ooh. My, I, I Highland gamble. Path. It's got to be Highlander Shaman. It just feels like a Highlander Shaman to me. So it's been a while since I've... Uh, the deck doctor formula has changed over the years. I wanted to ask, what's your current favorite approach to it? Um, yeah, I was excited about playing Apotheosis, but you're right, Harrison's just more exciting to play. I love playing Harrison, dude. I think Harrison's really good right now, and nobody's playing it. So he's got a boozle. Uh, he just used that. He didn't blackjack it earlier, which makes me think he probably doesn't have a blackjack.